All the alternative treatments, everything's moving into, it's moved into cellular medicine. That's what I've been studying for the last two or three years is cellular medicine, because that's where everything comes from. It's at a cellular level. The scientific basis to eradicate today's most common diseases, you have to look at the cells. Our cells need to be cleansed. Our cells need to be detoxed and protected from damage of free radicals. When a free radical enters your body, what happens to the cells? They turn what? Cancerous. Free radicals are what we, what we find from foods to breathing in to everything else. Free radicals go in, find your good cells, and they kill them. The more free radicals are in your body, the faster you get cancer. Nutrients. We're going to get into this. Your cells have to have nutrients to replicate normally. They have to have a nutrient. If they're missing any nutrients at all, any of these, they begin to form abnormally. They have to have nutrients. Nutritional deficiency is the major cause of cancer. When you see someone with cancer, that's because they have a nutritional deficiency somewhere also in their body. And so now, if we're going to treat a nutritional deficiency, how can we just do chemotherapy and radiation? Would that ever solve the nutritional deficiency? It actually creates more nutritional deficiencies because it takes more nutrition and minerals out of your body. Proper absorption of nutrients is also essential for, cell for cellular health. You have to be able to absorb the nutrients. I can force nutrients into your body. It's not how much I put in, it's how much you absorb. We're going to get that into that in the end. The only way absorption can occur, though, is if the body is not toxic, if it's alkaline and oxygenated. This is going to be the key to not only preventing cancer, but to reversing any cancers you have. It's getting the body non-toxic, alkaline, and oxygenated. If those steps are done, the nutrients, the nutrients can't be absorbed and you're wasting your time and money on nutrition. So if those steps aren't done, you will waste your time and money on all, the, on, all, on all those things. So here they are. What nutrients do your cells need to replicate normally? Now this is powerful. Has anyone ever showed you this? There's a, there is an exact recipe for every cell in your body to have in order for it to keep forming normally and not form cancer. It has to have 22 of the amino acids. The building blocks of protein. It has to have protein. It has to have every one of those amino acids. It has to have antioxidants. Who here knows what an antioxidant is? Vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of them. An antioxidant means it's anti what? Anti-oxidizing. It, anti, it, it stops oxidation. When free radicals get into your body, what does it do? It oxidizes the cells. What does that mean? If I leave a, a nail out long enough, what happens to it? It rusts, it, rusts, it becomes oxidized. It, it starts to form abnormally. It starts to die. Now, if I take an apple, cut it open, and leave it out for a long time, what color does that apple turn inside? Brown. Brown and oxidizes. So when it oxidizes, what happens to the cells? They turn what? Brown. They turn cancerous. Those are, that's a, did you know that when you open an apple and, 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 and it turns brown, that's a cancerous cell in there? Those are considered, those, that's an abnormal cell. All cancer is is an abnormal cell. It's an abnormal cell growth inside of there. So antioxidants, antioxidants stop oxidation from happening in the body at a cellular level. Antioxidants. So if you're missing enough, if you're missing antioxidants, guess what? Guess what develops in your body? Cancer. Immediately, if you're missing any amount of this, if you don't have the right amount of antioxidants in your body daily, you start forming cancer immediately. Fatty acids. Those of you that are taking your fish oils, your cod livers, your flaxes, all those things, your body has to have fatty acids for hormone synthesis, membrane support, brain development, detoxification. You have to have fatty acids. Have to. A lot of people want to know, well, what's the number, number one cause of breast cancer is what? Hormone sensitive. Breast cancer is hormone sensitive. And why? Because the hormones are getting screwed up. Number one is because you have no fatty acid consumption in your body and you, you can't regulate those hormones right even. Live enzymes. This is huge. And this is one of the things I've studying even in the last three days, I really started getting into research on the enzymes. And most people don't know, and I didn't even know that. You have to have enzymes. I knew, I knew the cell needed it. I didn't know how important it was in cancer. You have to have live enzymes. They're the life force of food and are necessary for digestion. Digestion, we're finding, is the key to cancer. It's when you can digest the food, because when you digest your food, what else can you do with it? Absorb it better. Live enzymes. Enzymes are energized protein molecules. They're energized. So everyone here knows what an enzyme is, right? An enzyme is what helps break your food down to digest. En en enzymes are energized protein molecules, and they play a role in every biochemical reaction in the human body. Every reaction you have in your body, the 20 million reactions you'll have today or more, has to have, you have to have enzymes in your body for those, for those to work. 
Life is not possible without enzymes. There are two types of enzymes. Digestive enzymes to break your food down and metabolic enzymes to build from what the body does. So when you eat food, the food comes in, a digestive enzyme breaks your food down. Thank God for that. Digestive enzymes break your food down. And once the food's broken down, the metabolic enzymes then take that food and turn it into what? Your organs. So from whatever you eat tonight will be your organs tomorrow. So if you eat McDonald's tonight, your organs will be what tomorrow? McDonald's. Whether or not you think it's bad or good, I guess we don't want to get into that tonight. But it will turn into that. If you eat pizza tonight and you eat bad foods, it will be your organ tomorrow. Your metabolic enzymes are responsible for that. So watch this. If I can't digest my food, which a lot of people in this room can't do, or now you can because you've been getting adjusted, but some of you couldn't before, what, what starts forming in your body? What's it called when you can't break your food down? Acid what? Reflux. 